Hey everybody, it's Maven Monday, and today we're going to talk about giving you some Yelp help. Now this is part two of a series we did a while back where we gave you some basic Yelp tips. Uh, so just a quick reminder of why Yelp is relevant. Uh, even if you're not a restaurant or a retail type business where Yelp is often used, uh, it's important to remember that Yelp is probably showing your business whether you know it or like it or not. Uh, Yelp has a way, like many directories, of finding other businesses' information, and it's, um, it's being used to help a number of things, including um, the iPhone uses Yelp as its resource for um, Siri. So when you say, find me a business in this category, uh, Siri is using Yelp. Um, so the user base is very strong. It's like the fourth largest user review site, I believe, and um, very opinionated. So uh, it's important to be on there, engaged, and know what's happening to you. So let's talk about doing a quick Yelp check. If you haven't ever done this, it's a very quick and easy thing to do. Simply Google your business name, and of course you'll probably find your website and your Google Maps listings, but very high on that list, you'll probably actually find that Yelp is one of the search results for your business name, even on the first page of Google. Now this is because Yelp is a very highly credible source and, and Google trusts them. Um, so if you have everything else good and maybe somebody at one point left you a really bad Yelp review, that one star is going to be showing up on that list. Another way to check is just to go straight to Yelp.com um, or use your iPhone to search. Uh, so once you've kind of taken inventory of your Yelp situation, maybe you have reviews or, or no reviews, either way we can take some action on that. Uh, so Yelp is a little different that it won't just show anybody's review just because uh, somebody put a review. They have to trust that user. And one of the ways that they trust that user, or they have to be um, sort of verified, is that they, uh, they look to see if that person has filled all the profile information out. So when they create the account, is it just the name or do they have extra bits of information in the settings? Uh, another way is uh, have the users left a lot of reviews. Yelp often does not trust people who've only left one review. They want to see several. Uh, in our experience, five plus. And then the last thing is that uh, Yelp likes to see you link to Facebook. So if you have all those three things, it's probably going to trust the person leaving the review. So if you run into a situation where your reviews are not being displayed uh, because they're, quote, not trusted by Yelp yet, um, either have your friends go complete some of those steps of linking their account or adding more information or leaving more reviews, or find friends that already have some Yelp clout, uh, some Yelp credibility. And one way to do that is to go straight into your settings and to Yelp, and if you'll just go to settings and then go to look at your friends tab, it'll show you everybody, as long as you're connected to Facebook, it'll show all of your Facebook friends that have Yelp accounts already. And maybe that'll give you a list of people to reach out to to see if they would be willing to leave your review. So uh, just as a reminder, uh, let's give you some best practices for responding to bad reviews or um, reviews that, that weren't quite uh, what you wanted them to be. Uh, first step is always to empathize, say we understand how you feel. Step two is to apologize. We're sorry you had that experience. Three is communicate values. Uh, we don't stand for that. That's not who we are. Please understand we believe in the same things you do. Fourth is to ask for forgiveness. We hope you can forgive our mistake. And five is to provide a real solution. And as always, uh, never try to tell a detailed side of the story in the public domain. Uh, you're just going to get looked at as, as somebody who's fighting. Um, don't tell the customer the wrong and don't ever show your ugly side with aggression or passive aggression. So follow those tips. You should have a better um, uh, outcome for your Yelp reviews and maybe reviews on other sites. Uh, if you need any help, give us a call. We'd be happy to help you walk through that process or help you write. Uh, you can give us a call or shoot us an email at mavenmonday at frankandmaven.com. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great week.